this, this, need to know about this, and this. You should have one of these, one of these, and one of these. Before you do this, you become an American national, not a state national. I see a lot of people posting up. They got their birth certificate authenticated and they're calling themselves state nationals. You are American. The state does not exist. The state exists through this. No, the state exists through this. This is what created the state. So now once you understand this, universal laws deal with energies, natural laws deal with the natural ways of all objects and beings which manifested in this dimension. You're in a dimension. Laws of maxims are God's laws. They're straight out of the Bible and they are rights. They cannot be taken away. Okay? That makes you a sovereign being, a divine being. You can claim to be human if you choose to. It's yourself. You're the master of it. You have the ability to create laws and constitutions for yourself and any corporations. This is a corporation. Any corporations. So if you're going to make a corporate, if you're going to make a treaty or, or a contract for that corporation, okay, that would include, the laws you include would be your power of attorney, your fee schedule, your um, injunctions, etc. Which, which is how you begin to correct the position. Because this is your bookkeeper. You've only created debt. Now you must correct the position and do the other side of the ledger. In order to free yourself, you must know the laws of Maxim, which is God's laws. And the ten maxims of commercial law, a workman is worthy of his hire, all are equal under the law, and commerce, truth is sovereign. So in, if truth is sovereign, you are the truth. Truth is expressed in the form of an affidavit. An unrebutted affidavit stands as truth in commerce. An unrebutted affidavit becomes judgment in commerce. A matter must be expressed to be resolved. He who leaves the field of battle first loses by default. Sacrifice is the measure of credibility. A lien or claim cannot be, can be satisfied. How much are your rights worth? Depending on who you think you are. Your rights are worth a lot. Are you a slave to the corporation? Well, if you're claiming to be a citizen, you are. Matter of fact, you don't have rights. If you're a citizen, you only have privileges and immunities. Sovereign, not sovereign citizen. You can't be both. Sovereign is a master of self, a, a being, sentient being, operating under God's laws. You can call yourself human if you want. I'm not. You have the ability to create laws and constitutions. Power of attorney, in fact, fee schedule, security agreement, contract law is laws which sovereigns worldwide adhere to in commerce, offer acceptance contract. So a mortgage company is sovereign? Hell no, it ain't. Actually, what they did is turn you into a corporation so they could do business with you. So that's why you have to get your birth certificate authenticated so that you can be entitled, entitled to full faith and credit. You're still the debtor or the slave. Besides, they couldn't do business with you because you're alive and they're a dead, fictitious entity. So they had to put you on paper to turn you into a dead, fictitious entity. But you have a treaty 
Treaties are before a constitution. You have a treaty that protects you. Then, of course, your constitution and the federal code. Are your rights being violated under the color of law? If they are, they have a form for you. It's called denial of rights under color of law. This form is a federal law. It's a legal notice and a warning. Do you know your rights? If you don't know your rights, you don't have none. 18 United States Code 242 provides that whoever, whoever under color of any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, or custom willfully subjects any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district to deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured or protected by the Constitution. book and that is so poignant and here's the case I won against Harris County Harris County I always take my name out because I'm not going to give my name until you can give me uh, what's called and police always call it it's RAS what's your RAS and they automatically assume I'm a cop because I'm using their lingo and what RAS stands for reasonable articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, okay? You don't have that? Okay, what's your SAF, single articulable fact? Well, you don't have that either? Okay, you, you, you've just basically said that there's no reason to pull me over because you haven't seen a crime, okay? Here's the case I won against Harris County. You can see the stamps and date, and uh, they ended up buying me a, a, a brand new Porsche 911 turbo all-wheel drive convertible uh, with them pulling me over and let me spend a night in jail. So and here's the lawsuit, and uh, I've got these for everybody to see. And you can see that it's all put together. And there it is, signed by the DA and stamped, showing they lost the case. And they lost it, and you they paid and you. And I, I sued them. And what did you win? Two hundred fifty thousand dollars for a night in jail. And then. Supreme Court says no license necessary to drive an automobile on public highways. Now these these are all documented. So what this is called is called stare decisis, okay? We're running a case that's already been won in the Supreme Court, and they're in violation of their oath of office when they don't pay attention. My license plate doesn't give you, if you look at my license plate, the license plate alone says I'm not in commerce. Now, if I have a license plate like this car over here and that car over there, they all have license plates. License plates mean I'm engaged in commerce. I'm not engaged in commerce. This doesn't give them the authority to pull me over because they see that. What do you, where do you see that I'm engaged in commerce? What gave you that uh, suspicion that I'm engaged in commerce? You have the right to travel freely unencumbered. And that's all in the law. And when we look at the law books, Supreme Court has already ruled on this. And you go back to what is a license. And I want people to do their own homework. Go read the case of Murdoch versus Pennsylvania. Or read the case of, uh, what is it, uh, Shuttlesworth versus uh, the city of Birmingham, Alabama. These are showing that you don't need a license. A license is to do something that is immoral, that's sanctioned by the government like a 007 license to kill, okay? That's immoral. They need to be licensed by the state. In other words, they're protected by the state on that. There's nothing immoral about leaving my house to go get a gallon of milk. I only need a license if I'm using the public property. The roadways are public, and they're paid for by the gas tax, okay? They're not paid for by traffic violations. So when you get into the law, this is what scares most cops, and I'm gonna to get to it here if I, the wind would stop for one second. This is what most cops don't like, because they don't know it. It's non-emergency use of emergency vehicle lights and sirens is a felony. Pulling me over for a traffic violation, they just committed a felony. And if they don't have reasonable suspicion that I'm engaged in commerce, they're done. And I'll bring out 
my brother's. I'm gonna put this away real quick. I'm gonna bring State out. Trooper. This was his book that he had in his car. Okay. Texas Criminal and Criminal Manual. I went to his car and I made him read this. And you're gonna love this. This is out of their own law books. This is the Lexus Nexus. And it says under section 502.003. Registration by political subdivision prohibited, except as provided by subsection B. A political subdivision, a political subdivision of this state may not re, not require an owner of a motor vehicle to register the vehicle, pay a motorcycle motor vehicle registration fee, or pay occupational tax or license fee in the connection with the motor vehicle. This section does not affect the authority of a municipality to, right here, license and regulate the use of a motor vehicle for compensation. So if I'm not engaged in conversation, compensation being paid to go from point A to point B, I don't need a driver's license, I don't, don't need to register my automobile. Well, and it is an automobile. Massachusetts? All traffic codes are pretty similar because they're all federal. They're pretty much the Is same. Is that copy of Massachusetts? Yeah. It's going. You can online? find. You can find it, and I will tell you. Go to um, uh, like Amazon or eBay and buy a used one. My brother had to pay three hundred dollars for this book. Okay, <clears throat> and then you look at it here. Imposed a permit fee or street rental charge for the operation of each motor vehicle. Okay, used to transport passengers for compensation. So who needs a driver's license? A taxi driver. You anybody that's anybody anybody that's engaged in making money using the public property.